Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series on using Kogo. In this video, we'll learn about creating intersections in Traverse BC. We want to create the uh, intersection points at the south end of a 60-foot right-of-way uh, south of Lot 2 here. And I'm going to use a, a, a CAD drafting tool to create the line down there. We don't use CAD tools very often, but I want you to see where we're going with this example. So I'm going to right-click that uh, south line of Lot 2, tell Traverse BC I'm going to modify that object and create an offset. At the bottom of the program in the status bar, I type in the offset distance, 60 feet, and then it says to specify a point on the side to offset, so I'm just going to left click anywhere down here below Lot 2. Next thing I'm going to do is um, put in a street name so we can identify that for you. Let's tell Traverse BC that uh, we're going to call this 9th Street. And uh, let's go ahead and, and bring up the intersection dialog box. And I'm going to start uh, on the left hand side uh, by specifying point 2. That's the southeast corner of lot 2. I can type in the, the point label 2 or I can left click the chevron to the right of that field and come over and pick either point 2 or the end of that line that originates from to either line. And Traverse PC puts point two back in the Kogo dialog for me. Next thing I want to do is specify a direction. So again, I'm just going to pick that line at the south end of the lot. Because I selected the line closer to point two, it inverses from two to the other end of the line, which is one. So I get a westerly inverse in this particular case. Now, because I want a 60 foot right of way, I'm going to, in the offset field, put a minus 60. It's a negative number because it's to the left as I look to the west. Okay. The next thing I want to do now is come over to the second column in the dialog box. And I need to tell Traverse BC that I'm going to intersect that offset line to the south with the east line of lot 2. So I'm going to start by clicking that chevron, coming up here and picking point 3. The bearing I want is simply that east line. I'm just going to pick it here. Notice that as soon as I have enough information filled out in the dialog box, the Traverse BC turns the computed intersection field 1 from a gray to a white color. That tells me it's computed a, um, a number there, and all I have to do is give it a point label. So let's come in and tell that that's going to be 2A. Traverse BC then lets me save that point to the survey. So it's now a permanent part of my survey. And if I want, I can plot it so I can verify that, yeah, I created the point that I was interested in. OK. Now let's come over to the east side of Lot 2. And we want to extend this east line, which is a curve, south to the south right-of-way line of 9th Street. Okay. So let's start by uh, using this double chevron here. This says I want to select a line which is going to determine both the initial point or the starting point and the line itself. So I'm going to click the chevron, come over here, click that line, and Traverse BC has filled in, in the information for the line from 5 to 1 colon 1. Um, notice that I had checked a box here that says accept intersections beyond the endpoints of the line. The line that I selected is bound by points 5 and 1. Well, I need an intersection that's south of point 1. So as soon as I tell Traverse BC to accept the intersections beyond that line, it's able to go out a little farther and uh, find a, um, an intersection for me. Now, interesting, I have two possible intersections down here, and I need to determine which is which. Uh, I do that with the View button. So the View button draws the possible intersection values for me um, in the dialog here. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more so you can see uh, where we're at here. Um, here's point 2, here's the endpoints of the line on the left here, and obviously 2A is the point that I want, so I just need to renumber that in my dialog box. So let's call this one 1A. Again, I'm going to tell Traverse PC I want to save it, so it's now saved, and I want to plot it. Okay. Now, I don't really need the endpoint or that offset line anymore. So I'm just going to delete that. And I've created now um, 
the offsets from the southerly line of Lot 2, uh, accounting for the 60-foot uh, right-of-way of 9th Street.